Dawn is back and her nails still look beautiful. I loved this look. The simplicity of it is just mind blowing sometimes. We're going to go ahead and remove everything with my two time course carbide safety bit. Do I have a link to this bit? No, I do not. I'm very sorry. We're going to clean out from under the nail. We're going to come back, push the cuticles back as far as we can. We're going to scrape off what skin we can with that. And we're just going to make room for new product. After that's done, I will go in with my fine grit sanding band. And I will prep the natural nail area. For this part, you want to use a low speed on your drill because you don't want to create any heat or uncomfortable feelings or rings of fire, which are red rings or indents left from the the drill from being tilted in too much. Do you see that? No lifting. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with my acetone and I'm going to cleanse, dehydrate, push your cuticles back even more because they will go back a little bit more once they're wet. We're going to go in with my fresh liquid, a purple crack in my Mikasa candle holder for a monomer dish, my sheer intense pink powder, and my number 12 Kolinsky. So let's go in with my perfect ratio and place this bead. You want to press it down away from the cuticle. Use the nice firmness of the tip of your brush, which your brush should be firm at the tip. It should not be separating or it shouldn't be clumped together. You want to make sure, look at the tip of my brush, you guys. That's the way your brush should look, no matter what size you use, okay? You can use that. You'll have better control of your product. You'll have a better ratio from your liquid to powder. You will get it. Hang in there. Because if you've been trying and trying and trying and you can't get it, it might either be your product or it might be your shitty brush. Here's the inspo pick. Very intimidating. Thank you to that nail tech for the inspiration. I'm going to do the best I can with the colors I have and with the talent I have. Okay, Sweater nails can be a little intimidating to me. Okay, especially when somebody is expecting something to look like the picture. Now, I'm not saying Dawn does because Dawn is very, she's very easy and understanding when it comes to anything that I may question. She'll say, do your version or do the best you can or whatever. They always trust the process and so do I. But with that said, we're going to go ahead. We're going to um, draw out our designs on top of the mat. Usually, the rule of thumb is to use the same color. That's what gives it a really cool looking effect. And then after you get your design in place, dump clear acrylic powder over top of it, tap off the excess, and then cure it. And when it comes out, just wipe it off with, the, with either a light acetone or some gel residue cleaner, and it will get all the dust off, and that's it. No further top coat is needed. But here's the final look.